What's going on guys, Cal here with Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iOS 7 Beta 1 on your device right now without a developer's account or a specific UDID activation number. So this is it, you can see my iPhone is running iOS 7.0, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that right now. So first off, what you want to do is go to the download link in the description, it'll say um, Evaders, should be something like this, and scroll down until you see iOS 7 Beta 1 download links, direct links from Mega. Now, Go down here and find your device. Now the difference between the iPhone 5 model 2.8 and the iPhone 5 model 2.9 there, the 2.8 is for if you live in the US, and the 2.9 is if you're international, like in Asia or something like that. So click which one corresponds to your device, this little mirror here. So click on that and install or download the DMG file right here. Open that D DMG file up and you should get a file that looks like this say iPhone 5, 7.0, beta 1, and then .ipsw, and it should be a little cube, and that's what you're gonna use to put on your device. So now once you've done that, go into iTunes here, and restore your phone. Um, now mine's gonna say it doesn't work um, because I've already updated to iOS 7, but click restore phone, and once it's restored, once it goes through that whole process, leave it plugged in and everything, once it's restored, click as set up new phone. Now once you set it up, you set it up as a completely new phone, it'll be on the iOS 6.1.4 I believe, it'll be the newest update, so update it, restore it, and then set up as new phone. Once it's as a new phone, you can go ahead and go back into iTunes and it'll look like this, it'll say new phone, whatever. And then once you're here, instead of clicking restore phone again, you hold down the option key on your keyboard or alt on a PC and click on check for update. Now once you've clicked on check for update, it'll bring up a bunch of different stuff and go to your desktop, which is where you have that IPSW file, click on that IPSW file, and then click open. Now once you've clicked open, it will in fact update to iOS 7.0. If you see an error message, I would try again. So just redo the whole process, that's the first thing you wanna do, is in case something went wrong, just restore it again, um, and then put the IPSW file back on, do check for update, hold option, click on it, and update. And it should work, and it's worked with everyone so far that I've tried it on, I've tried it on a couple of devices, and so far it's worked. Now one thing that I want to make sure is before you restore it, make sure you back it up, because in case something goes wrong, you want to be able to um, put it back into what you had before, all your contacts, all your apps, music, that sort of thing. So make sure you do that, because I had a problem with that and actually lost a lot of my stuff. But that's okay, because I got iOS 7. I hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Really means a lot, guys. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments or send me a message on YouTube. Either way. Other than that, guys, hope you guys have a great day. And as always, see you guys later.